Hey everybody, this is the Planet Earth here, and I'm going to be showing you the similarities between the South Texas area and how different Austin and Houston is, uh, and Corpus Christi, okay? I'm going to show you guys how weird this is about the South Texas area. We're going to put a line from about Del Rio to about Houston and Galveston to uh, all the way to Brownsville. I'm going to show you the neighborhoods, like the standard neighborhoods, not the rich neighborhoods. Uh, but the standard neighborhoods. I'm going to show you how similar everything is, even though everything is spread out by more than almost 200 miles. So San Antonio to Laredo is probably about, what, 100 and, about 130, 140, 150, 160 miles maybe, or something like that. And then Corpus is like from about 160 miles uh, to Corpus Christi, and then to uh, Brownsville is about 300 miles almost, like 280, 285, 290. And then uh, San Antonio to Del Rio is about 180 miles. But let me show you how similar everything is. You ready? So I'm going to go to a standard neighborhood in Del Rio. Check it out. So let's just pick, I don't know, um, right here. Standard neighborhood. Of course, uh, you know, Del Rio is more deserty than, let's say, Brownsville. They're about the same. But a little bit different. But you see how the neighborhoods are? Look. Standard telephone poles. Um, houses. Parking. You can just park on the street or park in the grass. Uh, just your standard average neighborhood. Now. Wait a second. We're not done. Let's go here. And then. As you can see. Your standard telephone pole. Um, you got your electricity. And then of course. Probably cable and a telephone pole. Now, this is not a big street, though, so I need to see a bigger street. Um, hmm. Okay, this is not, this is like the back streets and an empty lot in Laredo. Okay, it's similar, but you can't tell the difference. Let's get a bit closer to the, to the downtown area of this town. We should see more telephone poles, thicker. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so just a standard layout, as you can see here. It's just a very standard layout. Um, that's the desert, but it doesn't look like a desert, even though surrounding it is a desert, which is absolutely bizarre. Okay, so that's similar. And then check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Laredo. Okay, we're just go and this is pretty far from Del Rio, but similar. Now check this out. We're just going to a standard neighborhood, like just your standard average neighborhood of. Laredo. Okay, so check this out. Other than, well, no, the dip doesn't look similar. Hold on, let me go. Let's just go to here. Okay, so here is your average neighborhood in Laredo. Similar. See, look, look, it looks exactly like Del Rio with the telephone poles at every house. Almost every house has a telephone pole. Right? Check this out. Check this out. Almost every house has a telephone pole. And it looks just, I mean, you can't tell the difference. Between this and Del Rio and San Antonio, they're all the same. Check it out. The layout is exactly the same. And and then this, this is how weird it is. Look, Brownsville. Let's go to Brownsville now. Check this out. This is almost 300 miles away. Now, the layout is, you can see the layout is completely um, different in this area. To like, the, like, look, see how the, the some roads are similar? But the layout is completely different. A little bit different, a little bit skinnier, I guess you could say. Um, whoa. But you can see that the layout is, well, they have more palm trees there. So the layout is, is different. See how it's different? But it's 300 miles uh, away from central Texas. But it still looks pretty similar, except they have really tall telephone poles there. Let me go to a different area. Uh, I need an area that looks similar. No, these are all different. Brownsville is completely different, I guess, because of the way it's close to the border. There's nothing that looks similar. Maybe. I doubt it. Um, okay. Okay, no, this does not look similar. To, well, no, this, this looks a little bit snow. The telephone poles are... Come, ooh, that's an old picture. 14 years ago. Jeez. Um, a year ago. Okay. Yeah, so this layout here, look, once again, this area here at least... Looks exactly like Laredo, even though it's far. And I was just trying to show you how cool this is. The 
the the look of it is exactly the same everywhere you go. So if you were in, if you've lived here in South Texas your whole life, then you would you'd be confused how similar everything looks um, in the terms of regular neighborhoods. Now let's go to we've done Brownsville, we've done Laredo, Del Rio. Let's go to. I don't know if Raymondville would look anywhere. No, I don't think so. I don't know if their telephone poles are different on the smaller counties with the smaller cities because I know the bigger cities have a better budget. Nope, this looks similar. See how similar it looks? A little bit less telephone pole, but similar, even though this is a small town, but it's similar. See? Nothing is different. It's exactly the same telephone pole setup. You almost can't tell that you're in a small town. You couldn't tell that from... Brownsville. Now that's a lot closer to Brownsville, but it doesn't make sense. Corpus Christi. This will be interesting because this is near the ocean. So this should be interesting. Um, I'm trying to find neighborhoods that look the same. This looks different. Okay, it looks a little bit... Well, the roads are more messed up and hurricane damage. Um, high wind. But it looks the same, see? These neighborhoods look the same. It's been like this in Texas for years and years and years. Now, see, like if you if you didn't know this, this could have, this could be Laredo, this could be Brownsville. I mean, you couldn't tell the difference, except this is near the ocean, and you could just tell by the damage on the roads. Now, if you look at the big city of, you guessed it, San Antonio, and you go down to the the west side, say, okay, hold on, and then you go here, check out how the roads are built. The houses are close together, and of course, the telephone poles are the same. See, I need to get them from the same manufacturer at this point. And this is a 300 mile difference, but the roads look exactly the same. A little messed up, small fence lines, um, very old houses from like the 40s or 50s, 60s. Same layout. It, there's nothing wrong with this. I'm just saying it looks exactly the same. And of course, the stop signs in the corners with the big signs. That float in the wind. If you look at how they blow in the wind, they go la la la. Like they bounce all over the place. And then occasionally you'll see a house like this, which is really cool. Look how big the house is. The house inside has got to be huge. Um, and that's how it is in the city. And is that a... Is that a no, that's, that's millimeter wave. Wow, that's weird. They put millimeter wave in the middle of that neighborhood. Oh, that'd be cool to get some millimeter wave action. Okay, anyways. Um, as you can see, the house here looks like it's boarded up on the roof there. But other than that, it is exactly the same layout except for the signs itself. Then, if you go to Dallas, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Now, I'm trying to pick regular neighborhoods, but I don't know Dallas. Um, the layout of Dallas, Texas is completely, just completely different. And the streets are different, too. Like, the ground is different than the ones in in, in South Central and South Texas. You have to say Central. This neighborhood looks like it could be a neighborhood in uh, South Central Texas, um, but like in the little bit more quaint neighborhood, if that makes sense, like cleaner. So this could be a neighborhood and you wouldn't even know that you were in a neighborhood. See how everything is the same? Even though, the, even though that Dallas is over 600 miles from Laredo, you can't even tell the difference. Look at this. It's, it's 500 miles, I think it is. You can't tell the difference. It all looks the same. Even though the neighborhood is different, the trees look about the same. Those are like oak trees. But they look exactly the same. And it's bizarre to me. Nothing has changed over a 600-mile span much in the regular neighborhoods. Now let's go to Amarillo and show you just how weird this is. But you got to look at regular Good old regular neighborhoods to get that pattern of regularness. Once again, all this is an old picture. It looks exactly the same. See, you can't tell the difference. This could be an old image of uh, Laredo. It could be an old image of Brownsville. It could be an old image of Del Rio. I mean, it looks exactly the same. The layout of Texas is exactly the same. Look at this. Same telephone poles. Look, see, it's exactly the same, except the grass looks a little bit different, but the houses look exactly the same. See how weird that is? And this is tornado country. Any of the old screen door in the back? 
perfect for the cooler nights. But look at that. It's exactly the same, except the grass is different. I don't think anybody else noticed this news about Texas. Maybe it's just me. Let's go down to Lubbock, and then we'll, we'll look at that in the neighborhoods. Okay, let's just go to, I don't know, here. We're just looking for regular neighbor. Look, Lubbock, you can't tell the... Well, uh, it looks a little bit... Well, that's a main street, though. Let's try... I don't know. It's a little bit different in Lubbock. A little bit. Yeah, it's like... No, it looks the same like Laredo. Except it looks like the yards are a little bit bigger. And the streets are a little bit... Flint and 38th. Well... It's, it's, hold on, let me find another area, see if I can find any similarities. Let's just see if I can find any similarities in these neighborhoods. Well, no, the, the, wow, these are well manicured lawns. But the houses here are different than the ones in Amarillo. Look, they look a little bit shorter. Like, is it me or do they look shorter? More like Ohio, like Ohio has houses like that. But the neighborhood, yeah, this completely looks different than the one in Amarillo. That's weird. I don't know why they look different. Um, let me try another neighborhood. Let's see. Let's try. But most of the time they look, okay, yeah, no, this is, this is different. The streets are wider. Um, the houses are bigger and wider in these neighborhoods. Um, but they look, but there's no telephone poles everywhere. Let me, let me try a different neighborhood completely. Uh, can't really see. Maybe, no, that looks like a busy area, so let me get out of that area. Let me, with the suburb-ish. Let's try this area here. Okay, here we go. There's a little bit more familiar, but we know it's a little bit more deserty in that mix. So we've got to take that into account. But as you can see... It is completely different than the areas that we've been looking at in terms, even if the trees were green, um, it's still completely different. Like the signs are connected to street lights instead of just regular. So Lubbock is completely different in terms of the way it looks, I would say, than the rest of South Texas. Now let me go to Abilene, just regular neighborhood in Abilene, and see if we can find a regular. This looks completely different. Um, hmm. But Amarillo looks the same. Uh, Austin. Let's see if we can just find a regular old neighborhood. But I don't think I'm going to find a regular neighborhood. Uh, maybe on the eastern end. I guess this chest. Let's see. Okay, this is Austin. This should look exactly the same. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks exactly the same as Laredo, San Antonio, um, the neighborhood looks exactly the same. It's even got the same poles every 20 feet. Absolutely insane. There's no difference in these neighborhoods. Exactly the same. Telephone poles everywhere. That's how it should be. Now let's see if Houston looks any similar, even though it's more humid. Now let me just pick a regular neighborhood. But it can't be... I don't think it's going to look the same, though. Houston is a completely whole different ball game. Maybe just a regular neighborhood. No. Um. Well, I mean, a little bit, but nah, it's too different. The trees are just big. Oh my god, yeah, that's definitely not looking like South Central Texas or South Texas. Oh no, we don't have that luxury. We don't. We don't have that kind of luxury of the trees. No, we do not. Um. This neighborhood here, however, looks a little bit... I mean, you could escape this probably for San Antonio, maybe. Um, maybe Alamo Heights or, or Rotero Hills area, maybe. But yeah, this is completely... No, this is different. This, however, Poe, Telephone Poe every... 100 feet. Uh, yeah, wow. Hmm. It looks a little bit similar. Now, let's go to the country area of Texas, like where I've never been. Let's see if there's any difference. Like this Nacogdoches place. Okay. 
doesn't look like we're gonna find any similarity here. Maybe, maybe around here. It looks a little bit spacious though. Like there's be yeah, out like big yards. Yep. So it's no. This looks nothing like. Uh, yeah. Why do they do that on the east part of Texas? They put these blocks in, and they don't. That's how it is in eastern Texas. They they put these blocks, but it's not like a regular town. And they I don't know why they do that. They don't do that in central or deep south Texas. They don't do that. They they only do that in eastern Texas, like Houston. They have all these ridges in the roads, but they don't they don't do that in in central or even deep south Texas that I know of. Hmm. Or even Amarillo. See how different that is. And let me look at Texarkana. Let me see if there's any similarity of Texarkana. Um, these roads look like one ways. They're very thin. Maybe we'll get some familiarity. Let me see. Let's see if there's any familiarity. No. See, they got the ridges of the road. Why? How come they don't have that in the South Texas? Like that, on a consistent basis. Look at that road. It needs help. Other than that, though, just the telephone pole. No. Everything looks different. Huh. Is this Arkansas? Let's go to Arkansas. Wait, that was Arkansas. Oh, okay. Oops. I was looking at Arkansas. Let's go back to Texas here. Uh, okay, this is Texas. No, it's completely different. It, it just doesn't look the same. The streets are thinner in general. Um, there's more like a hill. Nah. That's crazy. So, most of Texas looks similar in the neighborhoods um, compared to... Um, so, all this is similar, even parts of Houston... And Dallas even looks similar. Now, let me see what Wichita Falls. There's got to be some squares here. Uh, maybe... Uh, maybe around here. This looks a little similar pattern. Yeah, okay. You, you could... you could, you could, you, Well, no, the roads here are with those weird uh, cracks in them. That doesn't seem to happen in South and South, South Texas. And we don't have that in South Texas. That's weird, man. I don't know why they do that in North Texas. Other than that, do they look the same? Okay, here we go. Yeah, that looks just like you could you could, you could mistake this for Laredo. Um, you could mistake this for Laredo. I mean, even the signs are the same color of, of like San Antonio. So yeah, I guess you could you could say this is a couple areas. Of, you can't even tell the difference. And the houses are the same, too, almost. Yeah, the houses are the same. Yeah, Texas is so similar, yet it's so far apart. And that was Wichita Falls. Now, let me see if Oklahoma looks like that. I'm just curious to see. Maybe it's the whole half the United States on the southern part of it that looked like that. Okay, just a regular Oklahoma neighborhood. Just a regular Oklahoma neighborhood. Oh, okay. Well, um... <laughs> Look at all the tornadoes I've done to these trees. Okay, um, hmm. I would probably get confused in this neighborhood. Because this looks just like Texas. Except the grass is different and the houses... I don't know, the houses are different. Except for that one. That one could be a Texas. No, they're different. Also, the roads um, are different. And the houses, yeah, the house is a little bit different. It's a little bit similar, but a little bit different. Now, let me see. Let's go more north. Let's go to... What's a big city? It's not a big city, but let's, let's go look at it. No, there looks too much, there's too much space in between. And there's too many gaps. The streets are not very squared. There's got to be areas where they're pretty much squared up. Okay, here we go. Maybe. Let's check this out. 
All the way here. Chicago Street. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, looks now, mm -mm, the trees now. Now, the houses look completely different. Oh, no, the houses are completely different. That looks nothing like Texas. And these look even older than the ones in Texas, too. And they also have a thing there for day daylight. So these are even older, some of them. The design is different um, than in Texas, too. That's, But the neighborhoods, they don't look the same at all. They don't even look similar. And then let's go to Ohio, where I've been, and you can see the difference. I'll go to a Dayton, but I'll go to, like, Huber Heights, where it's a little bit... A little bit fancier than downtown Dayton. Just a little bit. See how everything is circling? They don't put... Maybe Dayton has the squares. Okay, yeah. Oh, Dayton. But the, look at the houses. They look like more like they're from New York. Check it out. I'm just going to go to a random area here. See, the houses are absolutely... Different. Like, look, look at the, look at the, look at the second floors on these houses. See, we, they don't have a lot of second floor housing in the south, and in the northeast they have, or in the central. Look, look, even though these houses are abandoned, a lot of them. Look at the difference. It's just completely different. I guess more colonial than in south. I don't know. I find it weird how all these houses are just second floored houses. Most of them, like almost all, every single house in this area is on the second floor where it has two floors but remember that neighborhood i showed earlier in texas is almost only one story houses exclusively i think it was in lubbock that i was talking or oh not or was it lubbock yeah i think it was lubbock where all the houses in these neighborhoods are like one story and there's almost no two-story houses it's not against the law to build a two-story house in Lubbock, I'm assuming, but they're all one story and they're wide. Do you see the difference? That looks like a two-story. But majority of these houses are just one-story houses, and there's nothing to them. But then you go up to the Midwest, which is absolutely different. I don't know what the influence is. I don't know if it's a colonial influence. Or what kind of influence these are, but they're completely different. Um, as you can see here, like like right here, this neighborhood, you can't mistake this. It just doesn't look like the south. It looks like the northeast. And then let's get crazier and let's go to let's go to I don't know, like west of no. Uh, let's go, okay, we can go, see that the street layout is completely different, I've been here, these neighborhoods are a little bit rough, but I've been here, and look at this, look at the layout, the layout is completely different, look at this, like that, the way the house is shaped, and touching this other house is just, the, the layout is very odd, look at the layout of it. Like, why is it a square, and then you have a perfectly good house here, and they're touching? I bet you, I bet you at one point this house was by itself, and now they have to, they close that off. Like, that must have been weird. And there's no gap between these. That must be weird, though, at the end of the day. And then the northeast is just completely different. Look at the layout. It's absolutely just fathomably different look, look at the way this is built you got three windows in the front two windows on the second a door small house but it's very big in the back i guarantee it i 100 percent guarantee it because that's how they built them in the northeast look how long and wide look at that like uh like there's at least like a bedroom above an entranceway look how it's built though it's completely different and like this you see it looks skinny in the front but then you got miles of house in the back. Just bizarre. Um, different. And then you go to the West Coast. It's actually similar. I don't know where they got their influence. Um, I, I have no idea. But we're going to go to a regular neighborhood in San Francisco. I know it's on hills, but minus the hills. Um, 
look at this. Look, look, they got the, 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 the train everywhere. The electric. They should take those down and, and build something better. My opinion. I think they should do something different about that. But look at look at the difference. Look, it's completely different. See on the west side of the country, not the west side, but look at the how it's different. They're all interconnected, and it's just a different neighborhood. And let me go to more of a see how they're all connected to each other. It's got that northeast vibe to it. See, it's got that northeast type of vibe uh, to it, even though it's on the west coast. So I don't know if they got their influence on the west coast. Or if they got their influence on the East Coast. But man, imagine having to walk up the stairs every single time you want to go inside your your house. It's a very weird influence here, as you can see. Oh, there's a door there. But see how, see how it is on this side of the country? And then you go to the East Coast. Uh, let's go like to North Carolina. Let's see how they're doing. Let's see if they look any similar to the East Coast. Uh... You gotta find a regular neighborhood, but I don't know. They're all different. Regular neighborhood. Right? I mean, this looks like a richer neighborhood just by the layout. I could be wrong, but it looks like a richer neighborhood. Uh, yeah, it's well kept. And the houses are all like the same chimney. I don't know what the... I, I just wouldn't live here. That's not where I would live. But I don't like the, I don't like the layout. I wouldn't live here. I actually prefer the South Texas layout or over the Raleigh layout. Um, but it just in general, that's what it looks like throughout the whole eastern end of this country, except for the northeast. And it's just bizarre. Trying to find a layout that's similar to Texas here is impossible on Long Island. Here we go. So this is the layout of the northeast. Now this one is a little bit similar to maybe like suburbs of chicago you might even be able to mistake a couple of neighborhoods in like uh houston maybe but i don't think so i don't i don't think so that looks like it's going downhill just the houses are completely different and older and and man are they beautiful it's like a church yeah, that's a church but it, it, it the, the layout is a little bit similar but maybe I'm just confusing it. Let's go. You know what? Let's just go to Canada. See what the layout is. I don't want to. I don't want to do Toronto. Um, let's do Montreal. If there is a square layout somewhere, I want to see it. But I don't. Maybe. May, no, they're too skinny. Too skinny. Too skinny. They don't have no similar layout. No. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe here in the in the boonies. Maybe. No. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find out if there's any similar layout. But Montreal is pretty European to me. Uh, Quebec City was the most European that I've been through. Maybe, maybe, no. Maybe this here. Maybe. Um, the layout here looks more Ubisoft. I know what Ubisoft is. They make great, uh, oh, fudge, I forgot what it is. It's a software company, I don't remember. Okay, anyways. Um, this actually looks a little bit more like the Northeast that you would find in New York. Or Boston or something like that. That looks like a more like a Northeast thing. So I don't know where they got this, 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 this layout, but that's definitely Northeasterner. They even got some graffiti to match what it looks like in Brooklyn a lot of walking a lot of neighborhoods with walking back alley well, yeah this looks a lot similar to like areas that you would see in Brooklyn or maybe east, eastern of Bronx um, but uh, in general it looks exactly the same as you would find in New York that's crazy that is insane all right, and then Quebec. Quebec. Let's see here. Let's see if there's any similar layout. What? Oh yeah, this this looks more like uh, 
Uh, um, hmm. You could probably mistake this for maybe Chicago or maybe Houston, uh, but in the suburbs of Houston. You could probably mistake that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If anybody has any uh, history to tell me about why these buildings look so similar, um, even in Canada versus the United States, and exactly why almost all of South Central and Southern Texas looks exactly the same in the regular neighborhoods, I would love to know. And even why a lot of the neighborhoods in Oklahoma look similar to the neighborhoods in Texas. But when you go to places like Albuquerque, they don't look that similar. Uh, like right here, like, let's just go to like, um, we're looking for regular neighborhoods. This looks like a rich area. I could be wrong. Uh, we're just looking for a standard. Okay, here's a standard area. It says classic uptown. Here we go. Okay, although more deserty. No, nah, this does nothing like Texas. Maybe... You could mistake it for El Paso. But everything looks the same, but the houses are completely different. Like, that has a garage. Thank you guys for watching.